Hey there fellow gamers, my name is Zach, and welcome back to Let's Play Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Now I was kind of a pansy in the last one, and to be honest, I still am. Because this one just kind of changes like the whole perspective of like every game that's been released before it. Because now there's that like breathing mechanic that the other ones haven't had before. Before you could kind of tell like they would poke their heads out or there'd be that light in the doorways. But in this one, it's heavily, heavily reliant on sound. And that's what makes it even more terrifying because the other ones were too. They helped, but it was like a, a good mix. Now, this is like actual them coming up. This is the sound that you need to listen to. So now it's like way different. And he thankfully updated the game. It still says version 1 at the bottom there, but he updated it so now it's like fully full screen like it should be. And also he explained the breathing mechanic to like all the players out there because there's a lot of them confused, including me. And this is straight from him. I'm going to read it word for word. Hi guys, there has been some confusion about the breathing mechanic work, how the breathing mechanic works, and I wanted to clarify. When you open a door, listen for at least three to four seconds before deciding whether to close the door or use the light. If you close the door, then animatronic at the far end of the hall, they will get closer to you and jump scare you when you open it and turn on the light. The game, this game cannot be played as fast as the previous games, and taking time to listen for the breathing before closing the door is crucial as a closing it too soon will bring something bad to your door. Note, I'm uploading an update right now that does increase the volume of the breathing as well as hopefully just fixing the full screen issues for most people. This won't fix everything for everyone, there are just too many computer setups and configurations to account for. I'll continue to try to improve it, however. That is straight from Scott Cawthon himself from 8.39 this morning. So... I'm still terrified of this game. I know I've barely touched it, but... Alright, here we go. So what we have to do, apparently, is open the door, but listen for a couple seconds to see if you can hear this breathing. Okay, so you guys are still over there, not just chilling. Okay, I don't think it'll be like till 2 or 3 a.m. hopefully that they begin to come out, but I have no idea. Alright, sorry I'm so quiet, but as I said before, this game relies heavily on hearing everything around you.
I have no idea if that was the breathing or not. I think that was the breathing. Oh my god, that is so nerve-wracking. I'm sorry I was so quiet the whole time, but you literally have to listen the entire time. I think I only caught a small glimpse of, the, of what the breathing sounds like, and that was very, very quick. I don't know how long he stays there breathing, or he or she, but... Jeez, I'm like kind of out of breath already and all I've been doing is just trying to stay focused and trying to beat this okay so I have no idea what the rest of the night's gonna look like that's always night one's always been the easiest but I finally got night one done it's solely based on listening okay let's keep going here you know he is hiding again These are my friends. He won't stop until you find them. Over there. Wait, 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 wait. That's Mangle. What's Mangle doing here? I didn't think she was she was part of the rock here she was part of the roster. Can't go this way. Tomorrow is another day. Why is Why does he have the helmet? Or Fox Foxy's head? Hold control to use a flashlight. Use a flashlight to stop on plus trap. Well, here's a scene from that one tra picture trailer. Why aren't you moving at all anymore? Well, I'm not getting it, so don't kill me. Okay. Wasn't sure if he was going to become a jump scare or something. Alright, so here's night two. 
So it's got to use kind of the same method as before. So I'm going to be very quiet. What was that? That was footsteps. Okay, so I saw him at the end of the hall. What does that mean? Cupcake is a... He's an enemy now? Holy crap, who would have thought the Cupcake was now going to be an enemy? What the hell? I know I was expecting Chica, but I was not expecting the Cupcake. Holy crap! Did the freaking cupcake walk? I heard footsteps, so he had to have gotten here somehow. Holy crap, okay. So I got night one done. I got a good taste of what night two has in store. So I think that's a good part to end it at, because I think I've already been playing this for a good while already. Holy crap, this game is so good. No offense, Scott, but this one can just run circles around three. Three was not really that s scary compared to this. All right. So I hope you guys are enjoying this as terrified as I am. I 100% am enjoying this myself. This game is totally worth it. Totally, like, worth the end of the series. Alright guys, with all that said, again, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later guys. <sighs>